Mr. Michael. Um, we're here in Victorville, California to promote me, Amber Van Winkle, as your number one Incubus fan. You just got a nice little glimpse of my Incubus, the car that faithfully totes me around from all of your guys' Incubus shows. I mean, the thing's been from Arizona to Vegas to California, back up the California coast, you name it, it's been there. Um, and then I got this nifty little sticker showing everyone on the road that Incubus is the band that rocks my socks. Now let's go ahead and go inside. I'll give you a tour of my room so you can see just what an Incubus nut I really am. As you can see, Incubus, or Victorville is kind of boring, so Incubus is the one thing that keeps my day going and keeps it entertained. And hey, 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 there's my papa, the man that we gotta congratulate for nourishing my Incubus cravings and and crazes all these years. Hooray to him. Say hi, Michael. Hi, Michael. Pick me. That's what he's saying inside of his heart. Pick her. <laughs> all right, let's go ahead and go inside. Excuse the mess. We're kind of in a transitional phase right now, reorganizing and putting together our home. Let's go into my room and start this mess. All right, over here in this corner, it's one of my favorite all-time posters that I own. Um, it just fits so perfectly in that corner. I couldn't have asked for anything more. I actually had a bidding war on eBay for this damn thing. I swear, it was crazy, but totally worth it. Let's go ahead to this wall. Now, every wall in my room has some kind of incubus something going on, so prepare to at least see four different walls, all right? This is another one of my favorites. I have it up above my bed because it's just absolutely awesome and the action going on this was one of my favorite albums so it just it's really good to have a picture you know showing what you guys were up to in the midst of making it I'm gonna go ahead and take the camera so I can give you a little view of my favorite of pictures this one I took in Santa Barbara absolutely love this picture and I know you've seen it because I've seen it posted on your page by other people. Apparently it's that good and people just love it. So, cheers to me. This is one of my favorites of Kilmore. Yes, indeed. And because I always stand on your side, I don't have one good picture of Ben, which is kind of tragic, but what can I say? Jose is the same boat too. I'll have to start standing on his side from now on. Wink, just kidding. Here's my favorite picture of Brandon. Couldn't have asked for anything more. And now let me prep you. I had so much Incubus stuff just floating around that I kind of begged my dad to make me a shrine. So don't be alarmed. I'm mentally sane and medically okay. Um, I just really love you guys. So here we go. Up on my top shelf is all of my favorite Incubus paraphernalia from DVDs to magazines to CDs. I even have a time lapse consortium and stealth up there. Um, fungus Among Us to light grenades. You name it, I got it, man. Next is what I was up to last year. All the fun I had with MYF and all the little goodies I snagged along the way. These are actually waters that Brandon threw down to me and it just so happens I, I just kept them because I wanted to keep them forever. You know, being a hot sweaty kid in the pit, like after getting my ass beat, you'd think I'd drink the water that was so nicely thrown down to me, but I didn't. <laughs> Back up here is actually picks you through to me. I was so excited when I got them, you know. Um, my sister, who's helping me um, record this, she's right there with her little fuzzy hair of hers. Just like you. Do you know her birthday is the same day as you? Crazy, huh? My birthday is the same day as Brandon's, February 15th. It was meant to be. I mean, that alone should tell you, pick this girl because she is awesome. But if you're not convinced, let's move on and we'll look at some other stuff I got going on. I was actually able to be a part of Brandon's solo projects. White Fluffy Clouds and From the Mercs to the Sultry Abyss. That was a lot of fun. I was able to go to LA and have him sign my books. Um, I was so inspired by his work that I actually got a tattoo done. Um, if you want to take a look, sheer proof right here that I am ultimate Incubus fan. Yes, an hour and a half of needlework to get that perfected. All right. 
now we'll take a glimpse of some more stuff. I got um, to be a part of some of Ben and, and Chris's shows as well and back in January. That was a whole lot of fun. Um, I didn't get any pictures because I forgot my camera on the trip, which was really sad, but you know, I got my memories and that's all that matters, right? Um, I, on my door, rocking a couple little incubus things. And of course, gotta have that light grenades. My friend actually got me that for Christmas and framed it, which was kind of sweet. And now for my biggest and most prized project, I put together a collage. Crazy, just, you know, big, huge um, space of just incubus, you know, tickets and pictures and everything I was up to last year is all on this wall. So please, enjoy. It took so much time and so much effort, but it was so worth it. I was so excited when I got that set list from Irvine, by the way. And then you guys posted that picture. That just totally rocked my socks. Almost got my whole closet door, but I fell a little short. But I intend on filling it up in 2010 when you guys go back on tour, right? Anyways, now that we're done with all the material possessions that keep me just loving you guys, I'd like to say thank you so much for the amazing music that you put out. I mean, it fills me with such um, positivity and keeps me strong on a day-to-day -day basis. You know, all I gotta do is pop in an Incubus CD and, and I'm golden, man. Which, by the way, I love that song. I mean, every time I drive down PCH and I'm out in Venice and, and um, Santa Monica, it just... It's the perfect song ever. Um, <laughs> aside from that, you know, I've liked you guys for about eight years now. You know, Drive being the first song I'd actually heard. And, you know, it just awoke something within me, that song. You know, I was only probably like 12 or 13 at the time. But, you know, it really struck something in me. And it was like nothing I'd ever heard. It was uh, it had a message that no other rock band or, or band for that, for that, you know, matter had ever put out there, you know, to have such a strong, unique sound and then have lyrics that just, you know, blow you out of the water where you're like, oh my gosh, like, did I just hear this? Like, it's just absolutely amazing, you know? Um, I mean, Incubus has helped me through the hardest times of my life. I, I, I couldn't be more thankful and appreciative that I have something, you know, there, if not anything else in the world that's going to make me... Um, positive and stay, you know, ahead of the game and optimistic about life, you know. I I went through really awful times. My fiance passed away about two years ago and I mean together we absolutely loved Incubus, you know. He he would go on about how great he thought you were and, and he would struggle to try and learn the different um, parts to, to songs and you know the ones that he knew I would sing along to when he played and it just you know, I fell after he died into this ultimate depression, like where I was just sitting, you know, in bed every day and, and I didn't want to move, I didn't want to live on, I had no will to live. And it was just the worst thing I've ever gone through. And and I started, you know, going getting back into my routine life and I, you know, popped in an incubus CD one day and I just came to tears because it made me remember, you know, him and, and who we were together and it made me remember the good times and, and the happy times and and reawoken me in a sense, you know. I remembered who I was and who I wanted to be and, and what he strove for for me, you know, the, the way he'd look at me in my eyes with bright, you know anticipation of our future and it gave me the strength to move on and it gave me the the will again you know it made me remember so I, I really have to say you know I love your music but you guys got my heart as well because you know to, to bring me back from the darkest of times is there's no way I could ever thank you enough so I mean, I'm so excited about your project, and I really hope to be able to be a part of it. Um, whether I'm back there, backstage with you, sipping on those cocktails or not, I have nothing but positive feelings towards you and, and the best of 